Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we hope to earn your subscription today. To our current subscribers, thank you very much. We appreciate each and every one of you. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the traffic control trailer that has been entirely 100% 3D printed. Here it is. This was found on Thingiverse. Uh, great big thanks to Goodson's Hobbies on uh, Thingiverse for for making the files for this trailer available, we'll get into the assembly, show you how this was put together. So without further ado, let's get to assembling and printing. We'll insert our washer. And we'll install. Trying to do this on camera. And still being able to see everything myself, it's a pain in the butt. It's important that when you put these spring shackles on, that they angle towards the back like that. As you can see, there's an angled piece inside of there. It has to match up. Run that through through our axle then we will take our outside or sorry then we'll take our inner spring mount bolt this thing through when it runs tight it bottomed out right there so I'm gonna go back about a half a turn Okay. Not going to bore you with this process on camera. We'll be back with some more. Alright, and just like that, through the magic of TV editing, we've got these all put together. Now we can set it on here. And I prefer to do my front ones first. You can see there's two screw holes here. There's two screw holes there. This is where our M2x5 screws are going to come in. We can't use the 2x8s because they're too long and they'll meet in the middle, uh, you know, opposing each other like so. The M2x5s are just long enough to hold this together and they don't interfere. So I'll do this piece off camera and we'll be back. we've got our spring hangers inner and outers they've been attached uh, the front of our leaf springs have been attached into those hangers now it's time to attach them to the spring shackles on the back to attach them into the back I know my hands are going to be in the way a little bit I'm going to hold my finger on the back side here as I screw this in as I get close because I'm about to get there. That way I make sure that as this screw goes in this back piece doesn't just get pushed away and break. I'm actually making sure that the screw is going in where it needs to be in through the screw hole or the that 3D printed nut on the back. And there it is. Now I can let loose and there's this side connected. Yeah. It does actually have some flex, some suspension. These are all printed with PLA on our 3D printer. I don't yet have my tires printed. Uh, we're working on printing those right now. You probably hear the noise from the printer in the background. Probably going to do these fenders off camera because they're a little finicky. Uh, two. Uh, there's two M2 by 8 bolts that go through right here. These two little holes. And they correspond with these two little holes on the trailer. Alright. Fender's on there. Now we'll go ahead and install the battery door. It's just going to go right there. 
I just took a regular twist tie, much like you would get uh, if you ordered an extension cord. Pinch it, pinch the insulation like so. Hopefully that shows up on the camera. It starts to expose the wire. And then I will just pull it off. Easier said than done today. Turn this piece over, flip it off. So, here we go. We'll start with this side. Ow. Push it in. And we'll do the second side out here. Once we've done that, put that in there. Detail that up. The lid will close down. I need to make some taillight lenses for it yet. Those will be on the, the 3D printer next. If I even decide to 3D print those. Okay. Hopefully this is showing up on camera. And we've got it where we need it. We've got the holes lined up. We'll insert our pin here. Alright. Yeah, I'm not going to bother to do the rest of them right now. Got two of them in there. Good enough to give you the idea that you know what they do. There's another M3 by 10 screw here. And we'll stand that up in the trailer. <coughs> and there we go. That's all there is to it. The Wankel style vertical mass trailer. Since we intend to pull this one behind our RC dump truck and it has a pintle hitch, I'm going to use this eye hook. I got this at Home Depot. Uh, screw eyes ever built. Number 210. They come in a three pack. Now there's a part to that you did not see. Part in screwing this into there, I just took a standard lighter and I heated up what would have been the very tip of that and then screwed it in just because this is a little larger than the, the size of the hole that's 3D printed there. If I just tried to screw that in without doing that, very good chance we would have split and broken this trailer. All right, everybody, that's the end of today's video. Leave us a thumbs up, that'd be great. It helps the channel grow and it also helps other people to find this video. And make sure and share the video with somebody that may enjoy watching this. Thanks for watching. And if you don't mind, uh, leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think.